Packing efficiency in solids. The percentage of total space filled by the particles is called the packing efficiency. Packing efficiency in cubic primitive structure. The unit cell has eight corner atoms. One corner atom is shared by eight such unit cells. So they contribute one eighth of their volume to the unit cell. This means one unit cell has one atom. The edge length of unit cell is 2R, where R is the radius of the atom. Therefore, volume of atom is equal to 4 3rd pi R cube, and volume of unit cell equal to 2R whole cube, which is equal to 8R cube. Therefore, packing efficiency is equal to 52.4%. Packing efficiency in cubic body-centered structure. The unit cell has eight corner atoms and an atom at the center of the cube. Each corner atom contributes one eighth of its volume to the unit cell. The center atom fully contributes its volume to the unit cell. So number of atoms in unit cell equal to eight into one eighth plus one, which is equal to two atoms. The diagonal of the cube is equal to four R. Also, if the edge length be x, then this phase diagonal is equal to root 2 into x. And this cube diagonal is equal to root 3 into x, or x equal to 4r divided by root 3. Therefore, volume of two atoms in the unit cell is equal to 8 by 3 pi r cube. And volume of unit cell is equal to 4r divided by root 3 whole cube, which is equal to 64 divided by 3 root 3 r cube. Therefore, packing efficiency is equal to 68.02%. Packing efficiency in cubic face centered structure, which is FCC or CCP structure. In the unit cell, there are eight corner atoms and six face centered atoms. The eight corner atoms contribute one eighth of its volume and six face-centered atoms contribute half of its volume to the unit cell. So number of atoms in the unit cell is equal to eight into one eight plus six into half, which is equal to four atoms. Volume of these four atoms is equal to 16 divided by three into pi r. Let the edge length of the cube be x. The phase diagonal is root two into x. The phase diagonal is also equal to four r. Therefore, x equal to 4r divided by root 2. Therefore, volume of unit cell is equal to 16 root 2r cube. Therefore, packing efficiency is equal to 74.05%. Packing efficiency in HCP structure. These three atoms can be taken as to contribute their full atom to the unit cell, although it does not seem so from the picture. The volume that is outside the unit cell is compensated by similar atoms from adjacent unit cells. See the top B. The corner atoms of the hexagonal faces are shared equally by six such unit cells. There are 12 such atoms. One sixth volume of these atoms contribute to the unit cell. The atoms at the center of the hexagonal faces are shared equally by two such unit cells. There are two such atoms. Half of their volume is contributed to the unit cell. So number of atoms in unit cell is equal to three plus 12 into one sixth plus two into half, which is equal to six atoms. Now volume of these six atoms is equal to eight pi r cube. Volume of unit cell is equal to area of hexagonal face into height of unit cell. Hexagonal face has edge length equal to 2R. Now, area of hexagon 
is equal to 6 into area of equilateral triangle having edge length 2r which is equal to 6 into root 3 divided by 4 into 2r whole square which is equal to 6 root 3 r square to find the height of unit cell we know that these three atoms form a tetrahedron with this atom and another tetrahedron with this atom therefore the height will be equal to 2 into height of tetrahedron of edge length equal to 2r the height of a regular tetrahedron of edge length 2r is equal to 2 root 2 divided by root 3 into r and this calculation has been shown in my video named voids in close packing therefore volume of one unit cell is equal to 6 root 3 into r square into 2 into 2 root 2 by root 3 into r which is equal to 24 root 2 r key. therefore packing efficiency is equal to 74.05 percent therefore it is proved that packing efficiency of CCP and HCP structures are exactly the same.